Hello everyone, James Pesca here with Peak Condition and it feels like a lovely day for a nice, tough, strength, total body workout. So what you're gonna need today is a moderate pair of dumbbells and a light pair of dumbbells and the drive to push through, to persevere, to get ripped. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and get warmed up. I'm gonna back up here so you can see my whole body and I'm gonna just start off with some small circles forward and backward and forward and backward. And now I'm gonna do a little trunk rotation. On this trunk rotation, I'm just kinda of letting my arms dangle and I'm having fun with it. This is fun, yeah. All right, good, all right. Next thing I want you to do, now we're just gonna do a little running in place, okay? So I'm pumping my arms back. I'm driving my knees up. I'm laying on my feet. And just getting the blood flowing a little bit here. All right, next I'm gonna do a couple little side shuffles. Give yourselves about three yards or so. Don't need much space. If you don't even have that much space, you could literally just step to the side, step to the side. I'll do that for the, those of you out there that don't have much space to work with. So we're just warming up our hips, activating our hips. All right, next thing we're going to do is a little external knee rotation, hip rotation, okay? I'm doing a little extra step in between. Don't have to do that, it's up to you. And internal. I wanna get nice and warmed up here because this is gonna be a nice, tough workout. All right, next, I'm just gonna inch out. So I'm doing the inchworm, I'm inching out till I'm in a push-up position. Then from here, I'm gonna inch back up. I'm gonna squat and I'm gonna inch back out. Hold for a sec, inch back up and I'm in a deep squat. And each time I'm doing that, I'm also spacing my feet out a little wider so I can open up my hips that much more. All right, and you can notice that I have purple socks on today. Really cool, purple socks, yeah. All right, now I'm just doing a little hip swivel, okay? So I'm just rotating my trunk slightly. And now I'm going to extend my arms behind my back, hold that stretch. And for those of you out there, let me know how your Valentine's Day was because when you watch this, Valentine's Day will have been a couple days before. And I'm taking my wife to do a little face-to-face -face painting session. So it's a BYOB. So you bring snacks, wine if you want, and then we're gonna paint portraits of each other. So I should post that in one of my videos, whatever I paint, I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. Not, all right. <laughs> so first thing we're going to do, go ahead, grab, a uh, moderate pair of dumbbells and a lighter pair. I'm gonna get those set. And we're gonna get right into it. Bam. All right, first thing we're going to do, and I'm just gonna do one demo and then we'll get right into it. So grabbing those moderate pair of dumbbells and we are going to do a squat. And then when we're up, we're gonna balance on one leg, curl and press, okay? So one more time, I'll give you the side view. So I'm going to squat. I'm up, I'm balancing on one leg, I'm curling and I'm pressing. So we're doing a total body exercise and also we're throwing in balance and activation. All right, so here we go. We're doing 15 of these. I'm gonna stick with one leg and we're off. So I'm gonna squat, I'm up, I'm balancing, I'm curling and I'm pressing. One down, squat, up. And it's tough to transition from that squat into the single leg balance. So that's why we're doing it, right? Gotta focus on the balance, the stability, the activation. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Woo, this is getting tough. Number eight. Also, I'm kind of alternating when I do that curl you don't have to wait till you're in the balance. You could do the curl when you're coming up and then balance and then press, or you could do it all while you have that single leg up in the air. So it's kind of up to you. Four more. This is tough. Three more. Two more. One more. Ooh, my arms are burning. And, oh, 
goodness. Set that down. All right, next thing we're going to do. Now we're going to work the frontal plane. So we're gonna do a side lunge, and then we're gonna press out. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab those dumbbells. So on that side lunge, my foot is gonna be slightly angled. Unless that feels awkward for you. If that feels awkward for you, you can turn out a little more. Plant leg's gonna be extended. And then on the extension, when I press the weight out, I'm gonna be kind of explosive, draw back in, okay? So, like you're doing a chest pass, or you're pushing somebody that's in your way. All right, so we're gonna do 10 each side. Here we go. Side lunge, draw back. Side lunge, two, three, four, five, six each time. Try to increase that range of motion level, seven. Eight, nine, and 10. Ooh, other side, my arms feeling this. Here we go. One, two, and I can tell that my flexibility isn't as great on the side. Three, let me work on that. Four, five, Six, seven, three more, eight, nine, and last one, ah, ten. Woo, that was tough. I'm gonna actually stretch out my shoulders after that one. So I'm just gonna cross one arm in front, hold that. That feels good, do a little static stretch. Same thing on the other side. My biceps too, my biceps are like burning. All right, I'm also gonna do a little wrist stretch here. Okay, do that on that side. All right, so next thing we're going to do, now we're gonna hit the core. So I'm gonna get into a plank position. And while I'm in that plank, now I'm gonna ex extend one arm forward, hold for a sec, draw back in. We're just gonna alternate. So as we do this, we wanna keep our hips neutral so we really get the most activation from our trunk. So we're doing 10. So each arm extended counts as one. So here we go. So. One. And I'm also holding for about a second or two. Two. From that position. Three. Four. This is tough. Five, five more. Six. Seven. Keep the hips neutral, eight, nine, and last one, ah, 10. Yeah, all right, next thing we're gonna do, so now we're gonna stand up, and again, kind of the same concept with what we started with. Now I'm gonna be back in the frontal plane, and now we're gonna do the windmill. So for the windmill, I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna grab the heavier weight for the side that's going to touch the ground. The lighter weight is gonna go up toward the air. So let me just give a demo here. Plant legs extended, okay? The side I'm gonna go toward, I'm gonna bend that knee. My foot's slightly turned. Now I'm gonna form that 90 degree angle with my hips, touch this one to the ground, extend this one toward the ceiling, and then when I come back up, I'm bringing this one down, all right? So doing 10 each side. Here we go. Also, this is a slow to medium tempo, okay? When we do these. So we're not just rushing through this one, just because it's not gonna be quite as effective if I go super fast on this one. Number four. Number five. Number six. Oh yeah. And again, the greater that angle. Number seven, I'm just gonna come up so I can show you I'm feeling it like right here on my side. That's number seven, three more. Number eight. Number nine. And last one, number 10. All right, switching sides. So, switching dumbbells, switching my leg positioning, and here we go. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five, oh yeah. Number six. Number seven. 
Almost there, three more. Number eight. Number nine. And the last one. Bam, number 10. All right, let's set that down. So next thing we're going to do. So now we're gonna hit our hamstrings, our glutes, and also our back and our arms, of course. Everything's arms today. All right, so what we're gonna do is a deadlift. And then when we're in the deadlift position, we're gonna do the row. So go ahead and grab those moderate dumbbells. And we're gonna do 15 of these. So I'll just give them one demo here. So I want my, I'm gonna form a hinge in my hips, back's extended, row, and I'm back up. When I come back up, I'm using my hamstring and glute to get my body up, all right? So here we go, 15 of these. Let's not delay. Back up, one. Two. Three, let me stick your butt out there. Four, and you can bend the knees just slightly if you're struggling with this, five. Keep your belly button drawn in, six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Number 10, five more. 11. 12. 13, last two. 14, and the last one. Ah, 15, all right. Go ahead, set those down. And next, we will be on our back. So now we're gonna do another core exercise. So I'm on my back. I'm gonna grab one of the lighter dumbbells. Knees bent, okay? And now I'm just gonna do a little crunch and press it up into the air. And as I do that, I don't need to sit up all the way like that. I could do that, but we're not gonna do that today, okay? So we're just gonna really isolate the core. All right, so we're doing 20 of these. Here we go. One. Two. It's actually my lower back is never really leaving the ground. Four. And I'm using that drawing in maneuver with my belly button. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Keep going. Keep your head neutral. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Almost there. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen and twenty. All right, and we're supersetting that. So flip over, you're in a plank position. And now my legs are extended. I'm gonna hop in, stabilize for a sec, hop back out. And again, I'm light on my feet when I do this one, okay? So I'm not slamming down on my feet. All right, 20 of these, this is tough. Lock out the triceps, head neutral. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, oh yeah, nine, halfway home, 10, 11, 12, keep going, 13, 14, 15, feel the burn, 16, 17, 18, 19, and ah, 20, yeah. All right, I'm gonna get a quick little sip of water because that was tough. But guess what, we're done with one round, two to go. Yay, all right. All right, so getting a quick sip. Feeling good, feeling pumped, feeling the pump. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab those dumbbells. I'm gonna get right back into it. So we're gonna start off with the squat, curl, overhead press, single leg. So actually, I'm gonna switch legs that time. My right's gonna go up. All right, here we go. 15 of these bad boys. I'm squatting. Curl. Overhead press. One down. Squat. Curl. Overhead press. Two. Squat. I'm gonna throw in the balance now. Curl press. Three. Four. Five. Keep going. Six. Oh, my arms. Seven, I should have chose lighter dumbbells. That's all right, I wanna push myself. Oh, that was bad. Eight, focus, James, focus, there we go. Nine. Ten, almost there, five more. It's 
one's tough. 11, but I like that activation. 12, last three. 13, last two. 14, your arms will take you tomorrow. But not right now. And 15. Set those out of the way. All right, next, back to the side lunge. Stand the arms out. And boy, oh boy, I am feeling this. Here we go. Side lunge. Extend out. One, 10 each side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine. Again, just choose a 10. We're going to switch sides. Choose an amount of weight that's going to be challenging. So definitely challenging myself. So glad. All right. That's how you're going to exceed where you're at and push, push yourself to new heights and new boundaries. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, oh, 10. Oh, I have to set those things down. My arms, I'm gonna stretch them out again. Goodness. All right. My buys especially, man. All right, next, we're back in that plank, extending our arms, okay? So really try to put all the activation in your trunk on this one. It's tough, but I know you got it. Here we go. One. Two, keep the hips neutral. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ah, ten. Yeah. All right, next. I keep looking out the window because there's like people walking past and smiling. And they're like, yeah, thumbs up. Woo, all right, working out, it's fun. All right, next, go ahead, grab one of the heavier ones and one of the lighter ones, and we're gonna do the windmill. It's 10 each side. Here we go. That's one. Two. Three. Yeah. Four. Five. Six. Keep going, James. Seven. Eight. Nine, and last one. Ah, ten. I'm gonna switch sides. Man, oh man, my arms are burning. All right, here we go. Switching sides. Ten of these. Let's go. One, two, three, four, number five, number six, almost there, number seven, three more, number eight, number nine, and last one. Ah, number 10. Get out of here, dumbbells. All right, next. We're doing the deadlift with the row, so I guess I actually needed one of those dumbbells, but it's okay. I had to set them down for a sec. All right, so we're gonna do 15 of these. Go ahead, grab the moderate amount of weight, and we're gonna do 15. Here we go. One. Keep that core nice and tight. Two. Three. Four. Six, keep going. Seven. Eight. 
Number nine. Ten. Five more. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Last two. Fourteen. And the last one. Ugh, Fifteen. All right. Set those down. Next, we're hitting the core. So I'm gonna grab that lighter dumbbell and we're doing the little crunch. We're just pressing the weight in the air, okay? So all the weight's doing is just adding a small amount of resistance so that we activate our core a little more. All right, so here we go. 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, halfway home, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, last five, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, then we're gonna flip over. We're gonna do the little plank hops, okay? So we're super setting, 20 of these. These are, oh, such a joy, all right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Going a little faster this time. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway home. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Yes. Two rounds down, one to go. I'm gonna get some water, reward myself after that tough round. Some nice water, oh, love water. Water, the essence of life. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, set that water down. And we're gonna start at the top with the squat balance curl press. So we'll do half on one side, and then half on the other. And I'm just stalling so that my arms can get a rest. All right, last round. Push, push, here we go. Squat, balance, curl, press, one. Squat, two, three, keep going. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, and I'm switching legs. Nine, ten. Oh, five more. The arms, feeling this. Eleven. 12, oh, last three, push through, let's go, 13, 14, last one, and 15, oh, I had to drop those weights, those things were killing me, all right, um, one last time, I'm going to stretch out my shoulders, I need it. And I'm actually gonna do this one too. And I'm actually gonna do this one too. Stretch out those buys in my wrist. So that's where I'm really feeling it. All right. Grab the lighter dumbbells. We have the side lunge with the press. We're doing 10 on each side. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. Ten. Ah, all right, other side. Let's go. One. A little chest pass. Two. Three, like I'm passing the basketball. 
four. Whew. Let's go. Keep that core tight also. So this is like a power move. Five. Six. We're off balance here and we're adding a little power. Seven. To our upper body and trunk. Eight. Last two. Nine. Last one. And uh, ten. All right. Set that down. Next. We're gonna do the plank and extend our arm forward. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get positioned here, and here we go, 10 each side. One, two, core nice and tight. Three, keep those hips from rocking. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Woo, yeah, all right, next. We have that windmill, the windmill, grab a heavier one, and the lighter dumbbell, we're gonna get right into it. Here we go. That's one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Whew, I'm sweating. Number five. Number six. Four more. Number seven. Ah, almost there. Number eight. Okay, let's go. Number nine. And last one. Ah, number 10. Oh, switching sides. Yay. And honestly, it's my arms more than anything. My armsies are just so fatigued. All right. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Keep going. Number four. Oh. Let's go, James. Let's focus here. Here we go. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Almost there. Number nine. And last one. Ah, number 10. Oh, feels good to be done with that. All right, next. Oh, the deadlift with the row. Why do I keep dropping the weights when I need to grab them again? I don't know. Focus, man. Focus. Here we go. Deadlift with the row. We have three exercises left. We've got this. Here we go. Number one. Number two. Three. Four. Again, the lower I get on that angle, the more I'm going to activate my back. Five. So if I'm down low like that, I'm hitting my lats, upper trap. But if I'm up high like this, I see a lot of people do that. That's going to hit my shoulders more. Six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Ten. Five more. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Last one. 15. Oh, man. Feels good to be done with those heavy weights. All right. Grab the lighter one. Two more to go. Let's not delay. I want to get this done because Ryan has a client coming in. So I need to make sure the space is free. All right. Here we go. 20 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We're doing ten more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right, let's finish it up here. We have the plank hops, okay? Plank hops. Twenty. 
Last thing. I'm going all out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Light on the feet. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Last two. Nineteen in. Ah, oh, twenty. Woo! Yeah, you did it. All right. Awesome job. We're gonna finish off with a little cool down here. A little cool down. So first of all, let me get these dumbbells out of the way. Just don't even want to look at them anymore. They're just, just hurting my arms just to look at them. All right. So setting those out of the way. All right. So what we're going to do first. So go ahead, find a wall, and we're gonna extend one arm, and my thumb's gonna be facing my body. Now I'm just gonna kind of sit into this shoulder stretch, okay? See, so I should feel this on my rotator cuff, through my lats, okay, deltoid. And I'm just kind of leaning into that, right? And I'm not leaning to the point where there's pain, I'm just leaning to a nice release, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Oh, that feels so good. Feels so good, hurts so good. All right, next. Now we're gonna do the next stretch. Done this one before. Get a little closer for this one. So I'm gonna cross one leg, or one leg, one arm behind my back. And then I'm just bringing my neck diagonally toward the ground. And I'm not putting a ton of pressure on that, right? Just a very light stretch, okay? So don't crank your neck to the side. And again, the reason why we bring our arm across, if we were here, I'm not getting as much of a release, okay? All right, so next, we're just swinging our shoulders side to side, swinging the shoulders. All right, now I wanna get into the child's pose. So my feet are together, my knees spaced out nice and wide. I'm sitting back into this, and I'm extending outward. This one feels good. I'm just gonna hold here. I'm gonna rotate one thumb toward the ceiling. Same thing. Oh. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, onto our stomachs. Now we're doing the scorpion. I've done this one before, arms extended. I'm looking to the side. I'm bringing my leg up and across. Okay, and I'm back to the middle. Same thing on the other side. And I'm slowly back. Each time I'm trying to progressively Increase that range of motion slightly. Oh, it feels so good. Okay, now I'm in a downward dog position. I'm crossing one leg over, and I'm just giving that calf stretch. I'm doing the same thing on the other side. Oh, that feels good. All right, next. I have one leg crossed. I'm extending my other leg behind. And I'm just gonna do this abductor and hip stretch. Okay, so I'm gonna lean forward into this. My hips definitely need some flexibility, so I've got a little work to do on this one. I'm extending my arm out to the side if I really wanna get a little extra release. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so one leg bent, the other one extended, preferably. Standing forward. All right. Yeah, all right, so there you have it, folks. Great job. So we focused on strength. We focused on stability. Two very important components to your fitness regime. So thanks for watching. Leave comments, like, share. And always remember, you don't have to be an athlete to train like an athlete. Let's do it. Okay. And we're back here, coming up, head neutral, back here, back in that downward dog position.